All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Gantt chart. And I know a lot of people get confused with how to do a Gantt chart in Tableau, but basically you need kind of three things, right? You need the start date of when the particular bar begins and for how long, right? But a lot of the times the data is not structured that way. Usually what you get is kind of like a start date and an end date. Right. Um, so what I tend to do is I calculate the duration, so the, the time between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab a few of the orders in here. All right, just as an example, maybe not too many, just because we're doing a small example here. So let's say I'm filtering only for these ones. And I want to know when the delivery was, uh, when the order was versus when it was actually shipped. Right. So basically, let's call this the time between this, the the processing time, right, or the admin time. So if I grab add, uh, sorry, if I do a formula, create calculator, we want to know the time between them. So you always start with the later date, so the shipment date, minus the order date. Okay, so let's call this duration and go OK. And this will give you a numeric value, right? The next thing we have to do is we have to add the starting date. So we go in here, and I'm and I always do continuous. Right, and go OK. And you'll see that straight away it's you got the beginnings of a, um, a Gantt chart. Right? Um, if I take the ship date and I do the same thing, right, you'll see that you've got two separate sets. If you do a dual axis on this, right, and we synchronize them, right, if I color one of them red, you'll see the start and end. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the color? Sorry, I've got to do it this way. Hang on, what am I doing? Ah, here we go, red. So that's the, you can see the end date and the start date, okay? But we don't want two lines, we want a bar, so we're gonna get rid of this second one. And instead, we're gonna apply that duration to the size, right? There we go. So now you can see the start and end for the bar chart, right? And that's, well, not the bar chart, the Gantt chart, really, right? So that's the period, okay? But you can do it, a little bit more to this because my issue with doing it this way is like let's have heaps of orders right it's kind of hard for me to see just in this one context so maybe one thing I want to be able to do is if I go another one this duration that I calculated I want to do this as a kind of a, a histogram right so let's say I go create I can go bins we'll just use the standard and I can go like this count the number of orders Right, and then if I put both of those on a bar chart uh, on a um, dashboard, let's see how they work together. Oh. Okay, let's turn this on. All right, make sure there's no filters. I think this one had one. All right. So now, if I ever wanted to see, well, show me all the ones where the delivery was very long, like basically a long processing time, I can use this, and I can see all of them straight away right you probably want to do some more filtering visualization so that you can get this group a lot smaller or you can conversely we can swap this around and increase the bin size so let's look for duration bin where did I put it here it is so we can increase this to let's say 0 0.5 right so we have a lot more 0 0.5 all right so now if I filter Again, slightly different behavior. Okay, but that's basically how you do a Gantt chart. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.